How to paint Starry Night of Vincent van Gogh? In this video, we will decode it. In this tutorial, I am going to exactly tell you all the important elements of this Starry Night painting so that you can incorporate all of them in your work too. If you are new here, hi this is Modula, the artist behind Modula Creations helping you to learn to draw, paint and relax through art. I do post video tutorials like this one every week so do subscribe and let's stay connected. Now let's get started. This is the Starry Night painting by Vincent van Gogh. This is one of my favorite paintings and I just wanted to observe it very closely and share insightful information with you. That's the reason that I choose to paint this. First, let me do an underlying drawing. A quick sketch of the tree in the foreground, the sky and a rough sketch of the village will do. Van Gogh is mostly self-taught and he has finished an astounding number of oil paintings, watercolors, drawings and sketches. Actually, he has done more than 2000 works in his lifetime. I am going to create a base layer for this painting using Naples Cello. I am going to keep it little watery so that I can still see my sketch. The other way of doing it would be to do your base layer and then sketch on top of it. You could even use your paint to directly mark the outlines. My intention of doing this painting is to study the painting share with you how this can be done and try out Van Gogh's short expressive brush strokes and ideally to produce something close to starry night. In this painting Van Gogh showed the crescent moon and the star filled sky. The sky is very very expressive which is one of Van Gogh's style of painting. This painting itself is in post impressionism style. The sky is also very energetic with thick layers of paint on the canvas. It looks actually like a torrent rolling in the sky. The colors that I use here for the sky are cobalt blue and ultramarine blue and those are the actual pigments that Van Gogh used for the sky. Along with this, I will also use a touch of Prussian blue for very darker values. For the stars and the moon, I will be predominantly using cadmium yellow and a touch of lemon yellow if required. The actual pigment used by Van Gogh was found to be Indian yellow and zinc yellow. Along with this, we will use white for the lighter areas. This painting really takes a lot of time to complete, so please be patient when you try this out. Each stroke has to be done separately. So all these are short brush strokes with lot of paint in your brush. Three things will make your life very easy when painting the starry night. At first, mark the direction of the strokes with the ultramarine blue. Then just follow it with cobalt blue and ultramarine blue. Secondly, have a good underlying sketch. Of course, you can have your own versions of the starry night, but if you want to study this painting, then I would definitely suggest a good underlying sketch. Thirdly, do short brush strokes with lot of paint. You need not do all the strokes that Van Gogh did, but just maintain the flow of expressive style with lot of paint and short brush strokes. If you want to retain your brush marks, Use a round bristle brush. This painting was done in the year 1889 when Van Gogh was in the St. Paul Asylum in St. Remy. This place is in southern France. This is a painting developed from the scene he was able to see from the window of his room. First, let me finish the outside area where it is darker and then come to the lighter middle tones. So for the outer darker values of the sky, I am using ultramarine blue and cobalt blue in its true hue without mixing any other colors. 
This beautiful painting is currently in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. I am really unsure of the level of emotions Van Gogh had when he painted this stroke by stroke. Because he did this work after six months from his first breakdown, so he could still have been in a state of mental shock or processing lot of emotions at the time he painted this. And if we had a chance to ask him now, even Van Gogh himself might not be aware of his state of mind at that time he painted this, we don't know really. Because the way this is painted is extraordinary. You need to pick up paint for each stroke and the amount of paint used is quite huge for getting it more textured like his. For the middle rolling sky area, I am using more cobalt blue and less ultramarine. Also I am mixing white to get the lighter tones. Just remember the direction of the strokes when you paint this. You can also quickly mark the directions and then paint the full area. The short brush strokes with lot of paint along with the direction of the strokes makes the sky very rolling. The entire painting has lots and lots of movement from start to finish. Bright stars, a different moon, the gushing nature of the sky, all of these Above a very very calm village show how abstract a painting can be to bring in strong emotions and how talented Van Gogh was to think this way. This is one of the artists who actually found beauty at the night. We can be sure of this as he himself stated that night is much more alive and richly colored than the day. A beautiful thought actually. Research shows that the moon Van Gogh painted would not be a crescent shape as shown in the painting. Rather, at that particular time when he painted, the moon actually would have been three quarters full. So that was something Van Gogh wanted to paint which was not in its actual state. This starry night painting is always around an open debate. Art historians see it with so many symbolisms. Some say it's a very religious subject too. A lot believe that it has many hidden contexts to it. Even astronomers study the starry night to see if it represents either a comet or a spiral galaxy or constellations or whatsoever. The sky became a more arguable subject. One thing most of them agree is the fact that the brightest star Van Gogh depicted near the cypress tree could be the Venus as it is the brightest star at that particular point of time in that area. But whatever the interpretations or the underlying symbolic meaning might be to this painting, I personally love this piece of Van Gogh's work very much as it brings in so much of energy as well as lot of emotions together when I see it. Even though stories say Van Gogh have sold only one piece of his painting in his entire life, he might have sold or exchanged a couple of them, but as a very limited set of paintings, he sold. Starry Night was not one among his sold paintings. Also, he was not in utter poverty too. As Van Gogh's brother Theo was supporting him financially which is very clear from Theo's accounts. Van Gogh accepted the financial assistance from his brother thinking that one day he will be able to repay it. Unfortunately, both weren't alive to see that because Van Gogh's paintings became famous only after 1900s that is more than 10 plus years after his death when he and his brother was no more. Under the horizon just below the sky is the mountain Alpilus. It is a small range of low mountains found there. Below the sky is a silent village with a church in the middle. 
For the greens in the village, I am using a combination of blues and cadmium yellow. For the grays and other tones in the building, I am using the same mixture along with white to just vary the tones. The beauty of this painting is that this village that Van Gogh has shown here actually is not seen from his window. The village is a sketch he could have made from the hillside above the village that he resides or it could be any French village or even it could be a village inspired from his hometown Netherlands. So he has incorporated that into this painting. The church tower in the village here could probably be the St. Martin church in St. Remy but actually he did not show the dome of the church. So the design itself could be a Dutch reformed church which could also be a building from his native region. The foremost tree is the cypress tree. In European culture, cypress trees are actually associated with death. But we don't know for sure if Van Gogh painted it with such a symbolic meaning or if he had painted because he just wanted to do it. For the tree, I have used burnt umber and for the green, I am using a combination of ultramarine blue, Prussian blue and cadmium yellow. This tree reaches the top of the canvas. Let me finish the tree with all the movement it could possibly have. I love doing this painting and it has definitely taken a lot of time. For me, starry night is definitely an energetic dreamy night. I am very grateful for the opportunity to just paint this piece even though I might not be even close to what he had produced. I am also very thankful to you for listening to me and that I am able to share some of the key facts about the painting to you. Thank you so so much for that. Here is the finished piece. If you like what you saw and if you got value from this video, do click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's stay connected. See you in the next video. Happy painting and have a great week.